Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on binomial expansion. Here is the exam question. f of x is equal to 10 over square root 4 minus 3x. Part A showed that the first four terms in the binomial expansion of f of x in ascending powers of x are a plus bx plus cx squared plus 675 over 1024x cubed. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we've got f of x equal, we can rewrite this as 10, in bracket, 4 minus 3x raised to the power minus a half. Before we apply the binomial expansion formula, we must take out a factor of 4. So we've got 10, open square bracket, take out 4, open bracket, 1 minus 3 over 4, x, close bracket, close square bracket, to the power minus a half. Now we can take 4 and we can raise it to the power minus a half, then take this bracket, raise it to the power minus a half. Ladies and gents, this gives me the following result. 10 multiplied by 4 to the power minus a half, multiplied by 1 minus 3 over 4x, in bracket to the power minus a half. Okay, so 10 multiplied by 4 to the power minus a half is just 5. So we've got 5 multiplied by 1 minus 3 over 4x, in brackets, to the power minus a half. Now we can expand this using the binomial expansion formula because the first term is 1. So here is the binomial expansion formula. 1 plus x in bracket to the power n is equal 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, so what we're going to do is replace the x's in this formula with minus 3 over 4x and we're going to replace the n's in this formula with minus a half. Okay, so the expansion of this one over here, okay, with the 5 is f of x equal 5. Okay, so open square bracket, 1 plus minus a half multiplied by minus 3 over 4x plus minus a half minus a half minus 1 over 2 factorial multiplied by minus 3 over 4x in bracket to the power 2 plus minus a half minus a half minus 1 minus a half minus 2 all over 3 factorial multiplied by minus 3 over 4x in bracket to the power 3 plus dot 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 close square bracket okay so now I'm going to simplify all the terms inside the square bracket so I've got 5 open bracket 1 plus 3 over 8x plus 27 over 128x squared plus 135 over 1024x cubed plus dot dot dot. The final step is to expand the bracket with the 5. So if I do this I get 5 plus 15 over 8x plus 135 over 128x squared plus 675 over 1024x cubed plus dot dot dot. So now I can read off my constants. So A is equal 5, B is equal 15 over 8, and C is equal 135 over 128. That there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the question. Let's have a look at part B of the question. Given that the expansion is valid for mod x is less than k, part B state the largest value of k. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now f of x is equal 5 multiplied by 1 minus 3 over 4x in brackets to the power minus a half. Now the expansion of this is invalid. Expansion is invalid. In other words, this expansion over here is invalid because the power is a negative number. Okay? Because we have a negative power. So what does it mean by invalid expansion? 
Well, for an invalid expansion, we have infinite number of terms. So we have infinite number of terms. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this expansion over here and make it a valid expansion. In other words, this means that we want an expansion with finite number of terms. Finite number of terms. This happens if the modulus of something is less than 1. So that something is the second term after the first term, which is 1. So that second term is minus 3 over 4x in this scenario. We can split this mod as a product of two mods. So we've got mod minus 3 over 4 multiplied by mod x has to be less than 1. Now mod minus 3 over 4 is just 3 over 4. So we've got 3 over 4 mod x has to be less than 1. So now we can make mod x the subject. So mod x has to be less than 1 divided by 3 over 4. This gives me 4 over 3. So now if I start comparing, I can see that the largest value of k is k equal 4 over 3. And that there completes part b of the question. Okay, so let's move on to the final part of this exam question. By substituting x equal 1 over 3 into f of x and into the answer for part a, which is this answer over here. Part C, find an approximation for square root 3, giving your answer in the form a over b, where a and b are integers to be found. Please pause the video, have a go at part C once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part C. We're going to start by substituting x equal 1 over 3 into f of x. So we have f of a third equal 10 over square root 4 minus 3 multiplied by a third. This gives me 10 square root 3 over 3. Now we're going to substitute x equal 1 over 3 into the expansion for f of x, which is this expansion over here. So we have f of a third is approximately equal to, we're going to limit ourselves to 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So approximately equal to 5 plus 15 over 8 multiplied by a third plus 135 over 128 multiplied by a third squared plus 675 over 1024 multiplied by a third cubed. So I can now put this into my calculator and I get 5905 over 1024. So we have that this here is approximately equal to this. So we've got 10 square root 3 over 3 is approximately equal to 5905 over 1024. So now I can rearrange to make square root 3 the subject. So I've got 10 square root 3 is approximately equal to this fraction multiplied by 3. So I'll get 17,750 over 1024. So now I can divide by 10 in order to get the approximation for square root 3. So square root 3 is approximately equal to 17,715 over 10,240. Okay, so this is the form A over B. So we've got A equal 17,715 and B equal 10,240. And that day, ladies and gents, completes this exam question and the teaching video of pure mathematics exam question on binomial expansion. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.